solving logarithmic equations. We're going to look at two types of log equations and the first one will just have one log. The log of something equals a constant and for that kind we will just convert to exponential form and solve. Something very important with log equations is you have to check your answers and make sure that your solution does not cause us to take the log of a negative number or the log of zero because that is not in the domain of the logarithm. To solve this one we look it is in the proper form it has one log on one side equals a constant. You may have to condense some of your logs so we'll go ahead and convert to exponential form so the base to the answer equals what you're taking the log of. So 4 to the second equals x plus 3. Simplify 4 to the second is 16 equals x plus 3 and you have a linear equation. Subtract your 3 from both sides. So x equals 13. We have to plug the 13 back in to the x and that would give us 13 plus 3 is 16. That is fine to take the log of 16. Our next problem is also in the same form. So we will convert to exponential form. So we'll take 2 to the third equals x minus 4. Two to the third gives us eight equals x minus four. Add your four to both sides. And x equals 12. Plug the 12 back into your log. 12 minus four gives us eight. It is fine to take the log of eight. So 12 is our answer. For this problem, you have to do one step before you start converting you can only have a log on this side, uh, not this extra piece. So we'll go ahead and divide out the 4 on both sides. And that will give us ln of 3x equals 2. Then we can convert to exponential form. Remember the base of natural log is e. So we're going to have e squared equals 3x. We're solving for x. So you're going to divide by 3. So x equals e squared over 3. For this problem, they would like an exact answer, which is e squared over 3 equals x and a decimal approximation and then we'll probably tell you how many places we'll get a decimal approximation on our calculator and so we have an E button so we have to do second and it's above the divide and we want to go to the second power divided by 3 enter so 2.463, if we want to go to three decimal places, um, a zero would not push us up. So we'll drop this off and just have 2.463 is our approximation. When we look back for our check, if we plug in 2.463 times 3, that is certainly going to give you something positive, bigger than zero. So we're fine with our answer. For this equation, you only have one logarithm, but you have to get rid of the 3 and the 2.5 before you can convert to exponential form. So first we'll subtract the 3. Gives us 5 equals 2.5 and then of x minus 1. Then divide out your 2.5 and that gives us 2 equals ln of x minus 1. Now we can convert to exponential form. So our base here is e, so e squared 
equals x minus 1. And you just have to get rid of your 1. So add your 1 to both sides. So e squared plus 1 is our exact answer. We can get a decimal approximation with our calculator. So we want to do e. So we're going to do second to get our e uh, to the second power plus 1. Enter. And so we have 8.3890. If we're going out three places, the zero is not going to push it up. So we will have 8.389. We have to look back and make sure that our answer is OK. So if we plug in 8.389 minus 1 will give us something positive. So our answer is fine. For this equation, we see two logs. But they are on the same side of the equal sign. So let's see if we can condense those with one of our log properties. And this is the sum of logs. Remember, the sum of logs is equal to the log of the product. So we can rewrite this as the log base 2 of x times x minus 7 equals 3. Now we're in the proper form to convert to exponential form. So we'll do 2 to the third equals x times x minus 7. Let's simplify. So we have 8 equals x squared minus 7x. Now we have a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and get 0 and see if we can factor to solve this. So we'll subtract the 8 from both sides. When you subtract it here, you get 0. And to factor, a trinomial gives us two sets of parentheses, different signs, split the x's, and 8 would give us, 8 and 1 would give us 7. We want minus 7, so put your bigger number with that. So minus 8 plus 1 gives us minus 7, so that works. To solve these, remember you set each one equal to 0. So if x plus 1 equals 0, then x equals negative 1. And if x minus 8 equals 0, x will equal 8. If you need to write this step, do. You have to check both of these answers. When we plug in the negative 1, and you have to plug it into both pieces of the original, right? Um, it's not OK in the first one. Log base 2 of negative 1, you're not allowed to take a log of a negative number. So this one is out. We'll try 8. Log base 2 of 8, that's OK. And 8 minus 7 gives us 1. It's OK to take the log of 1. So our answer here is 8. This problem is going to be similar to the last one, so you might like to pause the video here and try it yourself and then look at the solution. So um, we have a log equation. We have more than one log, but they're on the same side of the equal sign. So let's see if we can condense. It is the sum of logs, so that would be the log of the product. So log of x times x minus 3 equals 1. Now we can switch forms. And this is common log. If it doesn't show the base, remember the base is 10. So we're going to do 10 to the 1 equals x times x minus 3. 10 to the first gives us 10 equals x squared minus 3x a quadratic equation. So get a 0 on one side. So we're going to subtract the 10. So x squared minus 3x minus 10. We'll factor. Split your x's. You're going to have different signs to multiply to get 10 and combine to get 3. How about 5 and 2? 
And we want a negative 3, so put the larger number with that negative. Double check, minus 5x plus 2x gives minus 3x. Set each piece equal to 0 and solve. So this will be x equals negative 2. And this will be x equals 5. Remember to go back and check. If you plug in your negative 2, log of negative 2, that one gets thrown out right there. Take the 5, log of 5 is okay. 5 minus 3 is 2, log of 2 is okay. So our solution will be 5. For this equation, we do have more than one log, but perhaps we can condense. They are on the same set of the equals. This time we have a difference of logs. Remember that is the log of the quotient. So we'll take log base 4. of x plus 13 over x minus 2 equals 2. So we're going to be able to work on this one by just changing to exponential form. So we'll take our base 4 to the second equals x plus 13 over x minus 2 this will give us 16 equals x plus 13 over x minus 2. Uh, we could multiply through by x minus 2, our common denominator. So we have 16 times x minus 2. When you multiply it on this side, that denominator will cancel. So we have a uh, 16x minus 32 equals x plus 13. Subtract your x from both sides. Will give us 15x. We're going to add the 32. Will give us 45 and divide by 15. Sorry, I'm running short on room there. If we divide by 15, it will give us x equals 3. We'll go back and check. Right? So 3 plus 13, that's OK. That's log of 16. 3 minus 2 gives us log of 1. So we're good. So our answer is 3. We'll look at one more problem, and we'll need to see if we can condense these logs on the left-hand side. So we have a sum here and a difference here. So we will have log base 2 of x minus 6 times x minus 4, that'll be in the numerator, over x so we're able to condense. We can switch forms so 2 squared equals x minus 6 times x minus 4 over x. This will give us 4 And we will multiply through by x. So it gives us 4x. On this side, it will cancel. We will need to multiply this out. So it's going to be a two binomials multiplied. Use that FOIL technique. So x squared minus 4x and minus 6x outside and inside will give us minus 10x plus 24 and now you need to get a 0 on one side because we have a quadratic equation so we will subtract 4x and so that will give us minus 14x and 
So we're going to factor this side. Uh, like signs, sorry, like signs both minus. And we're multiplying to get 24, combining to get 14. So 12 and 2 is going to be our choice. They're adding because they're like signs. Right, so this will give us the answer of x equals 12. And this one will give us the answer of x equals 2. Go back and check. First for the 12, 12 minus 6, that's okay. 12 minus 4, that's okay. And just the log of 12, that's okay. Put the 2 in. 2 minus 6, that is not okay. That gives log of negative 4, so it's thrown out. So our solution to this one is 